Hey everyone, I want to do a quick uh, update video here regarding setting up a local account in Windows 11, particularly Windows 11 Home on the devices here where you're actually forced to go ahead and connect to Wi-Fi and create a Microsoft account. I actually did cover this uh, topic in another video over a year ago and that process uh, may or may not still be working. Now, I have actually received some comments that so certain you know, uh, tidbits and advice I gave before may not be working now with newer versions of uh, Windows 11. So I want to go ahead and jump into one feature that I've actually used over the last several months that's actually been working pretty well. And I want to go ahead and share that with you. So here you can see we do not have the option to go ahead and skip this particular setup without connecting to Wi-Fi. You connect to Wi-Fi, obviously the next step is going to be to create a Microsoft account. Now, if you, you do have one, if you do have a Microsoft account and you enjoy the features of it, go right ahead and connect. But it's just a little bit cumbersome to be not have the option to just go ahead and create a local account, even if you're, especially if you're just going to be using it for testing purposes and you don't really want to associate any Microsoft account for, in this case, a laptop here I'm just using for demo purposes. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it anyway. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate something to you. I do have a little keyboard attached to my little Surface Pro right over here. And uh, obviously many keyboards do have the uh, function lock, the FN key right down here, which I'll go ahead and demonstrate this little key. So I'm going to go ahead and turn mine on because obviously if your keyboard has that function and you go ahead and hit one of the F uh, keys up here, you're probably just going to be dimming the screen or raising the volume up and that, that's immediately what you now want to do. So now that it's active, I'm going to go ahead and click on Shift F10. You immediately see we have a command prompt here and go ahead and make sure that's focused correctly. I hope that's a little better, hopefully not too bright. I'm gonna go ahead and enter a little command here, O-O-B-E, oh, that didn't work out. There we go, so make sure you click on command prompt. The keyboard does pop up here if you wanna go ahead and use that, but I'm just gonna use the physical keyboard here, O-O-B-E, correct, slash, bypass, and capital N, R, Oh, so November Romeo Oscar. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'm just to make sure that is actually still focused. Sorry if that went out of focus and that looks much better. And hit enter right here. It's going to initiate a reboot of our device. So let's go ahead and see what happens after a few moments. It's basically just going to take us right through the setup. You're going to think immediately, oh no, did it work or not? Well, let's see. Not sure what it is about some surface devices out of the box that are just on low volume, but no big deal. Just went ahead and raise it. You can see here we're now in the initial setup here again. Gonna go ahead and continue it. Just choose to set English. Up your device using a All right, now the volume's working. Click on United States right there, click on US for keyboard, go ahead and bypass the second layout. And lo and behold, we are presented here with the same screen, but just one little option right there. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on that. What does that say? I do not have internet. Choose that option and guess what? You successfully bypass it and you can actually go ahead and create a local account. Hit accept here and you'll see here, go ahead and enter your name, choose a password, uh, turn off all those little features or leave them on if you'd like and off you go. So there you go. Hopefully this method will uh, stay true and the Microsoft won't jinx it and nerf it. It's kind of a really, really odd on a personal note. If uh, someone wants to create a local account on a product, something, that's a piece of software on a product they actually paid for, what's well, the hurt Microsoft? Just let it be. Especially if a lot of people are finding ways to bypass it, stop nerfing it and jinxing it. Just let it be. Thanks again for watching everyone. Hope you found this useful. Take care.